We're live from Chevy Chase. All right, well, welcome back. It's time for our morning chat. We've already started chatting yes. with a veteran sports writer known for his no-nonsense coverage of the UK men's basketball. And his name is Jerry Tipton, and he's here to talk about his new memoir, Deja Blue, A Sports Writer Reflects. It is so nice to meet you. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, I've read many of your articles in the Herald Leader over the years. You've been covering UK athletics for a long, long time, and you've decided to write a book. What prompted this? Well, uh, it was something I thought I covered in 41 seasons, starting in 81, 82. And so I thought, you know, there, there's always stories behind the scenes that you, you, know, you find entertaining and things like that. But you don't want to put in a story because the story's not about the reporter. Right. And so uh, those accumulated. And then I had people, as I was thinking about retirement, encourage me to do a memoir. And okay. <laughs> I'll give it a try, and uh, a lot of anxiety, I tell yes. people, because I'd never done any, I'd never done a book, and it's a lot longer, obviously, right. than a yeah. newspaper story. So I struggled with that, but uh, here we are. Here we are. Well, and, and, and how long has this journey taken you to, to write this? Well, counting the thinking about it and everything, maybe a year, year and a half. Wow, okay. that's fast. Uh, Not right, too well... Yeah. I mean, because we can't recall what we did yesterday. So it's amazing <laughs> you can recall things for 41 well, that, years. Maybe that's one of the advantages of covering yeah. something like Kentucky because everything is magnified. Right. And it makes it, you know, some things that happened are, were very easy to remember. Sure. Other things I had to do research. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want it to be just about me. Right. I, I, right. And so I talked to over 40 people and got some of their memories uh -huh. and uh, of playing or being fans or whatever. Do you felt like that gave you new insight? Some, in some cases, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, like uh, I talked to Sam Bowie about mm -hmm. sitting out. My first two years were the two years he sat out because of a stress fracture right. in his leg. I remember that. And, uh, you know, players are kind of, you know, they're kind of reluctant to, to emotionally release what, how they're feeling. But now, 40 years later, you know, he, he, he told me what it was like for him yeah. to sit out those two years. And I, I really, it was a really uh, good conversation we had. So looking back on this storied career that you've had, is there a particular team that just really st you stood out to you or a particular player that you just loved? Yeah. You know, when you said that, I thought, you know, I literally had a storied career. You did, <laughs> It was right. about writing yeah, yes, stories. Yes, yeah. uh, the team that stands out, and I tell people this, and I, maybe it comes as a surprise, is the 89-90 team. Okay. Rick Pitino's oh, first yeah. team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were on probation from the Eddie Sutton right. years. So they couldn't play in the SEC or the NCAA tournament. And all, the better players left. They transferred. Mm -hmm. Right. And so the expectations were not what they usually mm -hmm. are. And uh, I remember Kay Wood Ledford, legendary radio yes. announcer, he said he thought they'd win like six or eight games. That's uh -huh. all. And the fans just had fun. It was just about fun. The way it's supposed to be. The, well, the way it is, you know, it's yeah. a nice thing. Right. Yes. Instead right. of the expectations and yeah. if you don't get to the final four, right. Right. it's a disappointment and all that. None of that was there. It was just about, and they loved uh, Rick Pitino's style, yeah. the three-point right. shooting, oh, yeah. the pressing, oh, it was trapping. Huge. That was our generation. Yeah, and, yeah. And they had native Kentuckians mm -hmm. like John Pelfrey and Richie Farmer yeah. on the team, yeah. and so the fans just had fun. Oh. So and I know you're retired from this, but do mm -hmm. you ever really let go? Are you still in the know? I mean, like, what do you think well, about all that's changed? So much change is happening right now, like and so how do you feel about this? Well, it's definitely again you know, when I was working it and they changed coaches, it was like a new beat. And so it kind of helped you go 41 years because uh -huh. they had six coaches in my right. 41 years. And, you know, I watch the games. They're entertaining. Mm -hmm. And uh, I figure it's going to come up in casual conversation. Someone's going to say, boy, you know, yeah. Mark Pope's really, he had yeah. a really good uh, <laughs> introductory press conference, yeah. pep rally. Uh -huh. And I'll know where they're coming from. Right. And, you know, and it's fun. You know. Yeah. So, uh, what do you like to do outside of writing memoirs and, and your job <laughs> at the Herald Leader? What are you looking forward to in retirement? Well, I had a, an aunt tell me never retire. 
Yes. She lives in Ashland, Kentucky. Okay. And her husband, my uncle, retired, and it, it didn't go well. Right. Yeah. I think you got to have something. He missed right. his work purpose. friends yeah. and mm -hmm. all of that. So I, uh, I exercise at the YMCA, and as you know, I'm sure UK offers classes mm -hmm. for seniors. No tests, no homework. That's the best. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I've taken classes each semester that, oh, that's great. that I've been in retirement, and that's been fun. Yeah. Nothing about sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to hang out with you all day. In fact, I, I want to hang out with you all weekend because you have so much to talk about, and yeah. I wish we could have you here, you know, for the whole day to talk about. It. So you'll have to come well, back. Well, you'll have I'll to come be back because we're not to. done chatting. Thanks for yeah. having me. That's but meanwhile, cool. everybody can pick up your book, and we're going to put that information up on the screen. Thank you all so right. much, Jerry, for being here with well, us today. Well, thanks for having me. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah.